My daughter actually loved the book, To Kill a Mockingbird, and we used to read it to her when she was very young. And in it, uh, Scout's father, Atticus, said to her, you can't know a man until you stand in his shoes and walk around in them. And so I walked across Pennsylvania to show people I want to learn and walk in your shoes when I was running for Senate. So I thought when I would come here, I'd do the same thing. 2020 presidential candidate Joe Sestak is on a 105-mile journey from one side of New Hampshire to another. He's currently in the Monadnock region en route to the seacoast and highlighting campaign issues along the way. We start mental health. We'll be doing an autism event. Uh, we'll be doing a campaign uh, reform one. Uh, I'm going to a VFW tonight to talk about veterans. This should be easy compared to his 422-mile trek across Pennsylvania. And when he was ashore, the former three-star admiral has always liked to hike. I backpacked uh, into China the very first year that they opened it up for independent travel by Americans. I had hundreds of people in Wuhan and Chongqing. They never seen a Caucasian before. They just opened it up as I go walking through. I hope, wish someday I have that many following me here in a campaign. Yes, it's a gimmick, but some voters see it as a way to connect. It certainly is. He's going to meet uh, real New Hampshire folk. Candidates who decide to walk across the state have provided many a memorable moment here in New Hampshire. But the tactic has yielded zero victories in the first in the nation primary. Still, Admiral Sestak says this is about more than just winning an election. I mean, I have learned a lot. Just meeting everyone, much like as an admiral, I get off the bridge wing, come down with the enlisted and sit on the mess decks with them eating after the last planes came home from Iraq or Afghanistan just to be with them. In Keene, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.